Good evening, I'm Rachel Richardson. Thanks for joining us on LAX 18 News at 11. Tonight, LAX 18 is mourning the loss of an extraordinary employee that died last night in a car crash. You may not know Billy Williamson by name, but you've seen his work in every show we put on the air. Billy was a graphic designer here at the station after working through different departments behind the scenes. Tonight, in honor of his dedication to his work, we're removing his graphics to show what a difference it makes when someone loves their job. I spoke with former anchor Nancy Cox about his decades of dedication to the station and how his light will be missed. I got a text from one of our producers at WLEX and I just put the phone down as hard as I could because all I saw was Billy Williamson killed and wreck. And I, I just, in that moment, so much changed. And I, I just didn't want, didn't want to accept that. Today, many of the LEX 18 News family woke up to the news about the loss of our beloved co-worker, Billy Williamson. He was 54 years old. He's worked at LEX 18 for 21 years, alongside longtime anchors like Nancy Cox, who can remember getting to know him. We're all going to miss Billy so much. We were a second family to him, and he was sort of a little brother to all of us, even though he's now in his 50s. But I can't imagine the pain that his biological family is going through and those closest to him. It's just not right. Billy was most recently a graphic designer. His work can be seen throughout our shows. But when he wasn't working, he loved his sports, being outdoors, chilly nights with coworkers, and just enjoying all that life has to offer. He was a little shy at first, and I didn't know, okay, is this guy like me? Is he, does he not like me? But that was Billy. He sort of sizes up people and then uh, lets that personality show. He was so great to work with. I'd take a project to him, and I didn't know what I wanted. Graphically, I would just try to explain, can we do something neat with this? And he'd huff and puff at first. And then within the hour, he was like, hey, what if we do this? And he was sending me examples and he got so into it. And he really was an excellent professional. His personality was big and brightened everyone's day. Working with someone who's passionate about what they do, someone who cares about the people he works with, is irreplaceable. That's just priceless. Our jobs are stressful. A lot of people work in stressful environments. And ours takes so much teamwork. The people you see on camera at the end of the day are just a small portion of what made our product come together. Billy was a big part of that. And we, we needed him. He needed us. We all worked together. And when a member of that team can make you smile through the stress and the hard work and the long hours and the election coverage and all that crazy stuff, it, it changes everything. It makes what you're doing even more worth it. While our viewers didn't get the chance to get to know the man that Billy was, someone who would get to know you and embrace you like family, someone who had a deep love for his own family and community. Just know that it takes a charismatic personality like his to make all this work. Everything we do, every job that it takes to make the news happen has to be creative. It's all meant to tell a story to you, to convey exactly what you need to know in a way that connects with you. And graphics are certainly a part of that. Everything that Billy did was a part of that. He knew that. And he wanted to make that experience for the viewer the best it could be. He was proud of what he did. And it took a lot of hard work for our product to come together. And Billy was a big part of that. Our creative services director, Dave Medley, shared this statement, quote, I worked with Billy for over two decades, and I don't think he truly ever realized how talented he was as a graphic artist. His work is a big part of our storytelling in every newscast, and especially in our Kentucky Derby coverage and election coverage. But most importantly, Billy was a great friend, a great son to the parents he helped care for, a great part of the LEX 18 family, and when you lose family, it leaves a hole in your heart, end quote. 
Billy's family tells us that he was hit and killed by a drunk driver late last night. Lexington police are investigating the crash that happened on Winchester Road between Manowar and Bahama Road around 11 last night. Billy was taken to the hospital where he died from his injuries. Lexington police say the crash was caused by a driver crossing the center line of the road. Billy's family tells us it was the other driver who hit his vehicle head on. He will deeply be missed by everyone who knew him and our deepest condolences go out to Billy's family and loved ones.